Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be making silicone molds again, but this time with acrylic blanks that have built-in housing. I ordered three acrylic blanks from Milky Rainbow Deco. Her links will be in the description box down below. And I just ordered three basic shapes to keep things simple. I got a star. a heart and a circle. I'll also be using less resin silicone rubbers since it was the cheapest silicone I could find on Amazon. I know, I know, we all love our Teal Mold Star silicone molds but it's quite pricey here in Canada, and since I'm making these molds just for myself, I just went with a cheaper option. I have heard good things about Let's Resin Silicon, so I'm excited to try it, and it does seem pretty simple to use. It's a one-to-one -one ratio silicon, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is wipe my blanks down with this microfiber cloth and make sure there's no dusties, and then I'll go ahead and mix up the silicon. So the difference between these acrylic blanks and the ones we got in the January Elves box earlier this year, I'll link that video to the top so you guys can see what I'm talking about, is that these ones, all you have to do is mix up your silicone, pour it right into the blanks, and then wait until the silicone cures. It's pretty simple. The thing you really have to worry about is making sure you mix your silicone right and getting those ratios right. As for the ones we got in the January box, there was a bit more steps to do before pouring the silicone. We had to prepare the mold housings ourselves. There were cookie cutters and a sticky plastic sheet. And then to make sure the silicone wouldn't come out of the housing while it was curing, I also went around the cookie cutters with my own glue gun to create a barrier. Yeah, it was a bit of a process, but to be honest, it was a great box. I really enjoyed it. And that's why I ordered these blanks to see how much simpler and easier mold making can be. Anyways, the plan is to make each mold different. The first one I want to make clear, I want to see how clear the silicone is. I'm wondering if I'll be able to use the silicone for UV resin. I am adding a little glitter. I want to give the molds a little sparkle. You guys know me, I can't make anything without adding a little bit of glitter. <laughs> As for the other two, I will be adding some mica powders to dye the silicone to see if I can make the molds colorful. So guys, we do have to change the plan just a little. I didn't mix enough silicone initially to fill the three blanks, so off camera I've mixed up another 60 grams of silicone and mixed the initial pink silicone into this batch. And yeah, the heart mold and the circle mold are both going to be filled with this metallic pink silicone. On the bright side, we now know that the silicone mixes well with mica powders. It's now the next day and it's time to remove the molds from the blanks to see how they turned out. It's time to demold the molds. <laughs> Okay, okay, these molds actually look really, really good. I am kind of regretting the pink mica powder a little. I kind of wish I had chosen a mica that wasn't metallic, but I can't see any air bubbles and the molds are nice and shiny, which is always a plus.
We do have a bit of excess silicone around the edges, but we can easily remove it with a tool. I have here this hangnail cutter tool that will easily remove these flappy bits. It's so satisfying how easily the tool is gliding. Definitely recommend doing this part of the mold making process. <laughs> Making molds with acrylic blanks that have built-in housing is definitely a lot easier. The tricky part now is getting your hands on these acrylic blanks, especially if you don't have a laser cutter. But I have been seeing more and more acrylic blank sellers on Instagram, so yeah. I just wanted to quickly show you guys I have used my molds and here are three pieces I made. I did record it but I thought the video would end up being way too long and I'll leave that for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out the other videos that are on screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!